Advent is upon us, and it's a special time of year at the Vatican and in the Eternal City. How does one make the most of a visit to Rome during the Christmas season? EWTN Vatican's Rachel Lance joins us to offer a tour. Benvenuti and welcome to Advent in Rome. I'm going to take you on a very quick Vatican walking tour right here in the center. And first we're going to start out in front of this papal basilica, St. Mary Major. There's something special I want to show you inside, so let's take a look. St. Mary Major is one of four papal basilicas that includes St. Peter's Basilica. Beneath the main altar is the most significant of all Christmas relics, the manger, in which the infant Jesus was born in Bethlehem. When St. Helena, the mother of Emperor Constantine, traveled to the Holy Land in the 4th century, she visited the cave where Jesus was born and discovered two cribs inside. So while we have this one in Rome, the other remains in Bethlehem, thus tying the two places together. Kneeling before the crib is a statue of Pope Pius IX. He had a strong devotion to the Virgin Mary and was the one who commissioned the crypt chapel. His coat of arms is visible above the main altar. So we're on the way from St. Mary Major to St. Peter's Basilica, and I'm right here on a very popular street here in Rome, next to a gelateria and a bistro, and right around the corner is a church, so it's a very typical Roman street here. And each church during the Advent time has a nativity scene, also called a presepe in Italian. And each one is typically traditional, but some have very unique features, and we'll take a look as we continue. In and around the Vatican, we discover presepi in unexpected places, such as this one, set up inside the entrance of a Vatican-owned apartment building. Or this one, known as the Street Cleaners Nativity Scene, owned and operated by Rome's Trash Collection Service. The 
The Christmas tree and large nativity scene in St. Peter's Square is traditionally inaugurated after the Feast of the Immaculate Conception on December 8th. But just alongside and inside the colonnade is the annual show Cento Presepi. Pope Francis makes a point to visit this exhibition every year and is expected to return once more. Leading up to Christmas, the Holy Father continues to make appearances at the Sunday Angelus and General Audience, both of which are free and open to the public. And he also celebrates Mass in Spanish on the Feast of Our Lady of Guadalupe. So throughout the month, it is more than possible to get a glimpse of Pope Francis while enjoying the atmosphere of Christmas. We just wrapped up our tour, and next week we're going to bring you more images of the Vatican getting ready for Christmas. But before I let you go, I want to show you some Italian Christmas dessert panettone. Every Italian household has and enjoys every Advent and Christmas. So happy Advent, and we'll see you next week.